Hello, this is Haku Bean, and today we are going to be tumbling. If you like this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I know this is a short intro, but let's get right into this. Very, very quiet. I'm hunting Americans. You're good. Vunger, I take a big bite. Eric Olsen from Canadiana and B 1982, Calgary, Alberta, Canada. Tigers in the Night, 2011. Paintings, oil on canvas. I very much enjoy how my mind scrambles to make sense of this. <laughs> the tiger has destroyed its cage. Yes, yes, the tiger is out. Oh dear lord. J.R. Tolkien I really love my wife. I will make her into a beautiful, unearthly half-angel princess who beat Satan almost single-handedly and won an argument with the Keeper of the Halls of the Dead. J.R. Tolkien I really love my best friend. I will make him into a grumpy old tree who never gets to the freaking point. If this isn't the best example of the difference between the relationship you should have with your wife and your best friend, I don't know what is. Exactly. <laughs> I have a friend who's a history major who has only played one game the past two years. He spent almost 2,000 hours on Crusader Kings 2, and that's all he plays every single day after class. When I tried to recommend Titanfall to him, he said, No thanks, I already play a video game. <laughs> he has ascended from one game. He doesn't want to play any other game. And you know what? That's fair. <laughs> I meet someone who, who does drugs. I kill them. They go to hell. They die. And lose back around to be someone who does drugs. Shouldn't they die before going to hell? You understand nothing. Isn't this like that Mario Mario from that movie that nobody really liked? So we have uh, two creatures trying to play with their Game Boy Advances linked connected over a river and then a shark eats their cord. I guess. I can't fully explain it, but this image and others like it are so divorced from any re reality or any statement whatsoever anymore, or are completely demonic. Look at this picture and tell me you can't feel closer to hell. Yeah, I'm really, really confused by these pictures. Like, what the heck is going on? I've collected a few. A lot of sour. What the heck? Oh, a Discord moderator. Making you a joke, by the way.
fly free soup. Best tip waiter, twenty five percent no matter what. Ah, oh, there's a fly in the soup. Life or death for Barry Boy. Barry Boy says life. Everyone else is saying death. God damn. What did Barry Boy ever do? I hate bananas. You're an apple. What is with these Wojaks? Tellurium. There's a smug nerd son and a solar panel who's yelling. I don't, you know what, I don't get any of this. I love sports. Okay, you're free to love sports, I guess. Okay, that one, uh, and yeah, it uh, makes me feel incredibly close to hell. What the hell did I just... What the hell did I just observe? What the heck? Lynn Manuel Miranda has a three-year-old drafting. It's like, Goo Goo Gaga Mama, I don't want to... I mean, to cause so much trauma, but I... Undergoing trauma from what's underneath my bed. There's a monster sized iguana and it smells like marijuana. I know it's fake, but I don't want to see it messing with my head or something. How long did it take to come up with this? Were you possessed by his swagger with spirit or something? I accidentally dropped bars. I dropped bars on YouTube.com. That was a mistake. <laughs> My local McDonald's online prize is happy doing cookie math. One cookie is is seven nine cents. So the difference between having one cookie and it's eighty. It's being eight hundred zero cookies and one cookie is eighty cents, right? You might assume that the cookies to follow would be similarly flat rice. Maybe two cookie cook. <laughs> I mean, maybe two cookies could cost one fifty or something, but you'd be wrong. Two cookies, two ten. Between one cookie and two cookies is not eighty cents or even close. It's one dollar and thirty one cents, huh? Two cook. Cookie number two costs more than one cookie day. It's two and a half times the price of one to get two? Hang on, cuz. Three pack of cookies is $2.30. The difference between two cookies and three cookies is 20 cents, which makes sense in comparison to one on cookies prices, but not no cookie twos. Why did costs jump from one to two, but not two to three? Ordering two times of one cookie for seventy nine on each doesn't work, because the store would only leave the, the additional O cookie out of the order. It's infuriating. I just want two cookies for one sixty. I have questions for you, Ronald. You clown piece of crap. Damn, baby, I have answers. It's all about choice architecture. They give you the cheap option and an expensive option. You choose a cheap option. They give you a cheap option, a medium option, and an expensive option. Sign the expensive option is looking better or value, so more people buy it. Nobody is actually going for the middle option. It's necessary to trick you into paying more. Lots of love. This is like crying. So we should kill the CEO with a brick in Minecraft, right? I have to say in Minecraft or else I'll get sued. Yes! Take my hand! My goodness.
I did not need to read that. I'm going to read it out loud, and you all can cr cringe just like I did. Suffer. The thing about microbiology when you're not working in human health is that you have to make peace with the fact that a big chunk of bacteria out there were first identified, described, sequenced, and named from the human microbiome. Like specifically named in reference to where it is found on the body, even if it exists plentifully elsewhere. And this makes sense, okay? But it's really weird when you're doing so literally anything other than human medicine and you've got to be like, we found bacteria science name comes from vagina growing in our fish stocks. We promised nobody he dunked their cooch in the water. It's totally natural. Anyway, we discovered that it helps the fish grow, so we're going to give them more pussy back bacteria. I did not need to read that. I don't think in YouTube will like me reading that. <laughs> Severely unarrayed gag, in my opinion, is the one where a character turns very slowly and the sounds of stone grinding against stone is superimposed over it. It. Oh, I wish I I, I I had time to edit these videos. I would so do that to you all. Don't give me the power of an editing software. You will not survive. The channel will, will, will actually get to tens of thousands and I'll be like, oh no, I don't want to monetize this crap. I was looking at this painting of a younger Jack as Schnee, mainly the pencil mustache, and I thought, why does he look so familiar? I swear I've seen someone that looked kind of like him. Then I realized he looks like the capitalist guy's Mr. House that was from Fallout in New Vegas and Andrew Ryan from um, Bioshock. Which didn't remind me of that one type of post that showed how almost all capitalist villains bear a similar appearance to Walt Disney. Which then made me remember that Walt Disney's very first full length mo anime movie was uh, Walt Disney's Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Wow, yeah. I mean, it makes sense that the worst capitalist villain uh, in, in all of media would look like the worst capitalist villain. In real life. From the various information about Star Wars I could give you is that the Death Star Garbage Compactor Monster from Episode 4 was sentient, was Force sensitive, and it wasn't trying to eat Luke, it was trying to baptize him. Her name was Omi, she was a lesbian and she chose her own gender. History, sometime before the Battle of Yaviri, Omi got into an altercation with Iduna, a male member of her species, who had wanted to exchange eggs. Because of her force sensitivity, she was able to defeat Aduna. While physically her Aphrodite, the Anal got uh, uh, choose to identify as female. That against the most common danger or male. The mating process involved the partners exchanging eggs with one another. To everybody wondering, no, I'm sorry, Omi did not ex escape the Death Star. She died when it was as destroyed, just as she fought or saw in her visions. As for silver lighting, she seemed to escape her fate and wondered... She seemed to accept her fate and wondered what she could be in the next life. As her culture believed in reincarnation. We have... Uh, we have representation of Star Wars, folks. We are a garbage compactor. I never say it was good. It just exists. I don't know. I think that maybe garbage back to might be nice. Paladin Smite that works by convincing the gods that your enemy is a poor creative choice and must be written in and out of the setting immediately. Basically, your smite works because you argue with your freaking 
and uh, DM, and they agree with you that at the end is a poor creative choice and adds out of the setting, making you win. I hate when you're at someone's house and they're like, Mom, she's hungry. And I'm like, no, don't say that. I sound so needy. Why couldn't you just say we? Glad to know it's an international thing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. These headphones suck, but that is not surprising. Webtoons Wayne Family Adventures readership surpasses DC's Batman comics. This is the webtoon in series Batman. Wayne Family Adventures accumulates more readers than Batman Detective Comics and Urban Legends combined. Batman Wayne Family Adventures subscriber count has surpassed these monthly sales for Batman's monthly series. Batman Wayne Family Adventures is the first collaboration between DC Comics and Webtoons. It heavily features Batman's supporting cast and explores relationships between Gotham's vigilantes. This series launched with three episodes on September 8th and has since gained over, gained over 500,000 subscribers. The most recent monthly reports for Batman Detective Comics and Batman and Urban Legends show, sales, show those books selling roughly 125,000, 53,000, and respectively. The last time Batman and Title sold over 500,000 units was in 2019 when Detective Comics 1000 sold 574,705 um, copies. The success of Batman Wayne Family Adventures is good news for our comic book fans. Last month, DC announced a partnership with Webtoon that will see the publisher's catalog of heroes brought over to the service. With over 72 million active monthly users, Webtoon offers DC an opportunity to expose the readers to their heroes and stories. In a statement, DC General Manager Daniel O'Cherry III said, Our shared goal is to create fun and compelling DC stories that all readers will, will enjoy. Before expressing DC's ambition to meet fans wherever they are. DC, fans made Wade Family Adventure er, er, comics surpass regular DC comics. Good for them. DC, you want angst, right? Fans, no, only fluff. Fine, throws. Also, in, in, in Family Adventures. Now, now, let's go back to the drama. Fans, upset as over. Over in Family Adventures, Russ and ignore the rest. Do you see? Visible confusion. Wait, I thought. More! Or good, or dead for his way! So, seriously. How, how, we thought an abusive asshole punching mentally ill people would. More. Oh, I got my charger. I hope I didn't break it. More dad. Less bad. Sad. Less angst. More found family. Let's go. <laughs> Very Tumblr. Very DC. Very webtoon. I'm just gonna ignore the title and hope that this isn't something incredibly not safe for work. Hey, what the entire fuck happened to Tumblr's balls? I should have clarified. I was talking about these. Why are they over oval? They should be spherical. But I fear it's, it is your balls that need a physician's care, my friend. Oh no, my balls. 
<laughs> Don't do this to me. I already have enough problems with these other balls of mine. Interesting, at 80 notes. Investing in 80 notes. Sorry, but I must be done. Stop playing inflation with my notes and toast. I have to inflate my balls back to their normal shape. Wow. Wait, Tumblr has balls now? Hang on, let me just... Where are my balls? Hang on, I'm gonna just make a template or post. There we go. Made it to pass. Okay, let's keep moving. When you get to school and realize you forgot to put on the other end. I am so fucking sick of Tumblr. How the fuck can I relate to this armadillo? Armadillo. I don't... <laughs> I don't fucking know, but I can. I can't tell you how... Oh, but I know exactly how this armadillo fits here. Fuck Tumblr, you've ruined my life! Armadillo. <laughs> Oh my goodness. It's armadillo. People. Okay, this has to be the last one. Like, my drill old job is honestly, I own an extremely shitty bookstore and cafe, and you can't order anything from a menu except cold brew coffee when we run out. We run out. Or you can ask me. I am standing behind the counter for a drink, and I will make you a weird espresso concoction based on what I feel like making. It will co and it will always cost a flat five dollars. I know coffee should cost less, but here we are. Sometimes the joke will be a scoop of vanilla gelato with an espresso shot poured over. Sometimes it will be a coffee seltzer. It will probably just be a regular latte most of the time with sprinkles on top. And sometimes I hand you a grilled cheese sandwich or maybe novella uh, like instead. We're already up in and for three hours between four to seven. In the afternoon, by the way. You can also trade me a book uh, uh, in, in like a new or good condition for a coffee. But I don't know if it's a book I want to read. It's our sort of place where none of the chairs match and we do we'll have like five million outlets and I won't say anything we want to say there for three hour for the three hours we're open and only buy one coffee. Honestly, if you're cold, you can stay later than that, but you but only if you listen to me talk about my wizard novel. I think what we're really missing in society is third place with bizarre proprietors. So basically, you want to be a witch. But when you say it like that, is I would come to your shop and uh, and voice books upon you and drink your coffee. I mean, honestly, that sounds like a really cool place to go to. This sounds like the best bookstore. Anyway, that's gonna have to be it. Well, that was r slash Tumblr. If you like this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I have no idea what I'm going to be doing tomorrow, so until then, goodbye!